Art Today's crime investigation documentary is about a serial killer from Islamic Republic of Iran. This is the story of a taxi driver who turned serial killer and serial rapist of young beautiful Iranian girls. In the dark nights the taxi driver serial killer stalked girls, kidnapped girls, raped them, strapped them multiple times and burned their bodies. The serial killer taxi driver is also known as the Iranian vampire. He terrorized Tehran for three months. He was hanged publicly for his crime spree. Ali Raza Koshuika and Cordea the taxi driver serial killer was one of the serial killers who terrorized modern city for more than 90 days. The Iranian officials willingly leaked the execution venue and time to the press. After which thousands of people witnessed the life and crimes of the serial killer came to an end. Ali Reza Koshuika and Corday, known as the Tehran Vampire, was whipped more than 200 times with a thick leather belt, then tied to a yellow crane and lifted, legs kicking, high into the air with a rope around his neck. The execution took place in front of victims' families. For four months. The Tehran vampire had preyed on women in the neighborhoods near the place of his ultimate demise. He stalked, abducted, raped and slew nine women and girls. The serial killer Ali Raza was condemned to 214 lashes and 10 death sentences this month after confessing on television to the kidnap, rape and murder of nine girls and women aged 10 to 47, including a mother and her daughter, in four months. The 28-year-old serial killer taxi driver, earned his nickname for stalking his victims. He was accused of killing the women in a spree that struck terror in women in Tehran, where such killings are rare. He was also arrested in 1993 on charges of rape and kidnapping of a girl. Unfortunately he managed to escape while he was transported to the court. After his escape he murdered and raped another nine girls. The serial killer taxi driver Ali Raza carried out his crimes by posing as a freelance taxi driver in the streets close to the site of his hanging. He burned his all victims so that the bodies will not be identified. Some of the bodies were not completely burned by the fire, which lead investigators to count up to 30 stab wounds on a single dead body. Once the victim is under his control he raped and stabbed the women to death usually setting their bodies on fire afterward in an attempt to limit clues and avoid detection. Picked up for acting suspiciously at a mall, Ali was arrested and confessed to the string of murders when he was confronted with physical evidence linking him to the killings and was identified by a surviving victim. Police dubbed their quarry the Tehran Vampire after his night prowling habits but were confounded in their search for the Slayer until Ali Raza got careless, allowing two victims to slip through his grasp. The escaped victim girl reported to the authorities and helped them to prepare a suspect sketch, and they quickly identified the serial killer following his earlier arrest for acting suspicious at a shopping mall. Tackled with the evidence including human blood stains in his car Ali Raza Korda duly confessed to the murders. His trial was broadcast live on state-run television for a fascinated audience, and the Iranian vampire was sentenced to death ten times. At the day of execution he was brought to a construction site and tied to a yellow crane and lifted, legs kicking, high into the air with a rope around his neck. The last word of the serial killer Ali Raza were. I borrowed money from no one, and I own unto anyone. I ask God for forgiveness for what I did. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like for more serial killers crime investigation documentaries from around the world. Thank you for watching this video.